Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to assign properties to members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler using STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this particular video, we are going to show you how to specify the cross sectional position for physical members in the physical modeler. This command will be used to align the cross section of the physical members on the analytical model center line or basically your way of modeling your hang points. Now to start this process, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to the proper area within the spreadsheet. To do that, we're gonna to go to the spreadsheet tab in the ribbon toolbar, and then we will go ahead and select the offsets icon. Here in the offsets spreadsheet, you can see where the default position of each physical member is located. And the default position is that all members are aligned at their geometric centroid. Now, if we would like to see what that looks like in three dimensions as well, we can go to the view tab in the ribbon toolbar and then ask the program to view the 3D rendering. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the members in the upper roof area. Again, we're going to notice that all of our beams and girders have been modeled at their geometric centroid, which is their default position, and our beams and girders are of different depths. Now we're going to assume that our goal for this exercise is that we would like the steel members at this particular level to be modeled at their top center position. So we want the top flanges of all of our beams and girders to be at the same elevation, and we want that to match our top of column elevation as well. So let's go ahead and zoom out and clear our 3D view and make our selection. So what I want to do is I want to select all of my beams and girders. And actually, my goal is to do this at both levels, the upper and lower roof levels. To do that, I am going to go to the Data tab in the Ribbon Toolbar. And you're going to see that I have several different member selection options. I'm going to try using the Special Selection option this time. And what I want to ask the program to do is to select all of my beam and girder members. And all of those particular members happen to be parallel to the global and the global X and the global Z axes. So let's go ahead and select those options. And then we'll click OK. And then you can see all of my beam and girder members have been selected. Once you have made the selection, we can go to the additional tools on the member tab in the ribbon toolbar, and we are going to select the cross sectional position. Now, a large advantage of the STAD Pro Physical Modeler is you are able to modify the member alignment or the cross sectional position without having to manually specify the depth or the offset distance for each individual member. This also means that as members change sizes through your design process, you won't have to change the offset position if the depth of the member changes later. So here I'm going to go ahead and say these should all be at their top center position. And we will click OK. Now let's go ahead and select our entire model again. We can see those changes have been made in the spreadsheet. And let's go ahead and view our 3D rendering. So now we see that our top of beam matches our top of girder, which matches our top of column elevation. Now again, I'm going to make sure that I am detailing my drawings appropriately and my connection designs are reflecting this position as this will eventually be included in my analysis model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.